Oh, good morning YouTube and welcome along to another episode of Silver Fox Travels and today I'm on the Cub and uh, thought I'd have a little chat with you about uh, something a little more specific jeans no not jeans jeans in particular I'd uh, like a little chat about these uh, hood motorcycle jeans that I'm wearing at the moment now they're really exceptionally comfortable and they come with padding at the knees and the hips they're also um, I think it's Kevlar lined all the way down to the ankle from the waistband so uh, you get full protection with them and back in 2020 I did a little review about them, um, just basically explaining what I thought of them and uh, how wonderful they were at that time. As you can see from the video, they're a loose fit, which I prefer. And that's not the reason why I'm making this particular video. Um, what I wanted to talk about is the fact that I've had them for as long as I have. I just happened upon the receipt um, for these jeans, which, uh, which quite surprised me. Now, they cost me £149.99p, so we'll call it £150 for round figures. And that was in March of 2015. So that means I've had them for well over nine years and they've lasted really, really well. In fact, I'm actually quite surprised how well they have lasted. I mean, there's a little tiny bit of fraying on the uh, on the uh, hem at the bottom of the leg, but uh, other than that, very little anywhere else. Uh, they, they, they've discoloured a little bit, um, and they're starting to wear a little bit thin round the knees, but other than that, spot on, absolutely spot on. And of course, in the time that I've had them, I must have done at least 20,000 miles wearing these jeans uh, through all weathers, in the rain, getting caught out in the snow, howling gales, you name it, at some point I've been caught in it. So yeah, I would say that these are excellent jeans. And of course, my question is, are these the oldest hood jeans still in service out there? Or have you got any that are even older and still in as good condition? I'd love to see your comments. And if you're watching Hood Jeans, it's a testament to your product that these have lasted so well for so long. Well done. Now, I'm out for a little bit of a ride just to uh, enjoy what little bit of decent weather we're getting today. Because I understand that uh, this afternoon it's going to turn all wet and miserable again and we're going to go back three months uh, weather-wise so let's make the most of this as we can 
I'm heading generally to uh, the Route 59 cafe for a coffee. Really like that cafe. Really nice, friendly staff. Always a smile. Decent coffee. Good breakfasts. And overall, a nice bunch of people that go there. Then from there, I might make my way up towards Burnsell. I'll either stop at Burnsell for a walk along the river, or uh, I might keep on going towards Apple Tree Wick and back uh, towards uh, Bolton Abbey from there. See how it goes anyway, see how, what the weather does. So, join me if you will, for this little bimble. Please feel free to add a few comments on, uh, on your bike gear, how long it's lasted, how well it's lasted. Interested to find out what you have to say. And uh, let's take in a little bit of uh, June sunshine, albeit a bit chilly. <laughs> Now I may have made a mistake coming this way because uh, there's a sign back, to, back there that said no through road. Um, so let's see how far we can get. Well, so far so good. It looks like the Asquith Arms is uh, open again. Interesting to see uh, if that's really the case. They moved over to India as a company back in the 50s uh, and they've been made there ever since.
Well, it seems that no through road uh, sign that I saw way back there in Otley clearly didn't apply to, uh, to my particular route anyway. So, if you're on that route and you're stuck, I'm sorry, but I found a different way. Anyway, been a nice run up so far. Nearly at the route 59, so let's just enjoy this next bit until we get there. Oh no, there's the thing. <laughs> I just realised today is Thursday and I think the Route 59 is closed on a Thursday. Um, well, we'll find out when we get there, eh, shall we? Uh, 350. Yeah, it's just a 350. Yeah, four stroke 350, 20 horsepower, chugs along all day long. How old is it? 22, 2022 I got it. Oh, are these made in India? These are made in India now, yeah. Yeah, they have been for a long time. Well, there you have it. It wasn't to be. The uh, Route 59 is closed. So, uh, after a bit of a chat with a couple of guys here, I'm now going to make my way up to Burnsell and get a coffee up there. So let's hit the road. Let's just see how busy it is in Burnsell on a Thursday morning. This is a spot just here for me. weather's going to turn fairly soon so I'm not going to stick around too long but I am going to get myself uh, maybe a spot of early lunch right let's see what we can find <laughs> Oh, 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 oh,
Well, I'm here in Burnsell, and that's Burnsell Bridge over there, which was built in 1609. And this, of course, is the River Wharf. And the weather looks to be closing in a little bit. That's the Riverside Cafe, where I just had a very nice cup of coffee and a bacon sandwich for lunch. And now I'm going to make my way over to Apple Tree Wick, which is going to be over the bridge there, along the road, and generally in that direction. Mr. Mercedes van in your V2 133 CDI a couple more inches and you'd have had my bike on the floor twit now I've come along this road uh, from the opposite direction a few times now and it's a lovely route but I thought just for once I'd come down it this way round and uh, take in the views from the other end, so to speak. Just look at this now. It's just lovely. A bit gravelly here. These old buildings. Huge great stone trough there. And here we are in Apple Tree Wick. Ukrainian flag there hanging outside the pub. The Craven Arms. These views across here it's stunning. Then, of course, you stagger out of the Craven Arms and stagger into the new inn <laughs> and a phone box with a phone in it. People are so friendly around here. Turning right before long. I think it's about here. Let's just stop at this gateway for a moment. Take in some of these views. Very nice. Wow. It was fantastic. <laughs> lovely, lovely. Yeah. All right then, mate. Ride safe. Oh, the hell, that was loud. <laughs> See if I can get a photo of the bike in front of the uh, fountain. Yeah, don't bother indicating, I wouldn't.
Well, this is the Cavendish Memorial. Wonderful looking thing that it is. But well, all things must come to an end. And that pretty much is it for uh, this video. I really hope you've enjoyed watching this. I had a brilliant time riding it. Don't forget to make a few comments on uh, how old your bike kit is, particularly if you have hood jeans. Be curious to know if uh, you've got any that have lasted longer than mine. I'm pretty sure there are. Anyway, I'll uh, finish the video here in my usual way by saying look after yourselves, look after the people around you, and until next time, bye for now.